Thank you, Tandy. Our catalyst contains several value chain threads. This one is dedicated to the smart grid. And by smart grid, we're emphasizing the new approach to decentralizing electric power called fractal microgrids. Now, to get a feel for what this new distributed approach is all about, let's take a look at the concept in this next animation. Here we see an example of the agile fractal grid in action whilst we simulate an outage. Some areas lose power, but can island themselves using combinations of backup power, distributed generation, and stored energy. Smart control systems allow the islands to network, potentially allowing for some power to be restored in affected areas whilst the utility works to bring the dark areas back online. Soon, everyone is back on grid power as the microgrids reconnect with the utility. Now, as you can see from the animation, this is a distributed approach to resiliency. But to scale eventually to national coverage, the Catalyst is introducing a four-tiered architecture. This can best be seen in this next diagram. Each of these microgrids can not only generate its own power, but each serves as a 5G picocell, and each has its own edge computing, and each is secure in its own enclave from the rest of the world. At Tier 1, we have the distributed microgrids. At Tier 2, we have redundant district operations controllers to balance the cluster. At Tier 3, we have the interfaces to all of the regional energy financial markets. At Tier 4, we have a place to watch, but not touch, everything that's happening across the country. At the top, we also have a digital twin continuous integration simulator. This is what we will use to launch the deployment of custom configured microgrids as fast as possible for every participating locale. For use case number one, we operate a fault tolerant environment because of the mission critical nature of the electric power. We see the Stratus fault tolerant node on the right where the artificial intelligence resides. We also see the dual DDS communication paths that are used to interconnect to all of the active elements via both wired and wireless paths. We use 5G wireless communications for the redundant path to the wired communications. Use case number two covers the high-speed synchrophasers at the edge of the grid that are pumping out six electrical measurements up to 120 times per second. The tiering allows for tremendous data capture at scale. For use case number three, the transactive energy marketplace allows people who are prosumers in the neighborhood to share their excess energy with their neighbors. The IOTA distributed ledger allows us to square things up on a token basis, much like using airline points. For use case number four, the system has special industrial OT styles of cybersecurity protection. We do this through a tiered approach with a SOC as a service designed for round trip management of sophisticated styles of attack. Now this last animation will illustrate the digital twin concept that we will use to deploy the fractal grid at scale. A digital twin is a digital model of a physical asset which continuously collects information via sensors, public data or other IoT collection tools and applies advanced analytics, machine learning and artificial intelligence to gain valuable real-time insights about the physical asset's performance, operation or profitability. The intention is to use the digital twin not just for design, but for the integration of hardware solutions, system testing, functionality certification, construction management and supporting production operations. The digital twin serves to synchronize the massive efforts of large numbers of people by providing an efficient and infinitely expandable framework for progress. So there we have it. All of these participants play a role in bringing you the smart grid through the Agile Fractal Grid. Please visit the supplemental materials to see the details on how all of these folks bring all the pieces together. Thank you.